Ever since I can remember, our town has had this quirky tradition called, Role Reversal Day. It's a day when everyone is encouraged to step into someone else's shoes, quite literally. This year, I drew the short straw, which meant I had to go to school dressed as a girl. Standing in front of the mirror, I was uncomfortable, to say the least. Mom had helped me put together an outfit, a sequined gold skirt, a denim blouse, and those black heels that made me wonder how girls managed to walk in them. I complained, this still isn't fair, Mom. Girls already wear jeans and t-shirts. This is no different for them. Mom just smiled, fixing my collar. But look at you, Brendan. They make us girls wear skirts all the time. It's just one day, you'll survive. As I turned to leave, I muttered a begrudging, bye, mom, but she called out, cheering me on, enjoy it. You look real good, Bree, I mean Brendan. See you later, hun. I shuffled awkwardly in the heels, feeling the fabric swish against my legs with every step. You really think I look good? I asked, doubting her sincerity. Absolutely, hun, she replied, a warm affirmation in her voice. As I made my way to school, the initial awkwardness of my attire gave way to a strange sort of pride. I was Brendan, or Brie for the day, and if I was going to do this, I'd do it with my head held high. I noticed the swish of the skirt against my smooth legs, which had been Mom's insistence the night before. If you're going to wear a skirt, let's do it right, she had said with a wink, handing me the moisturizer. With each step, I became more accustomed to the heels. I found a rhythm, a grace I hadn't known I possessed. My hips swayed almost naturally now, and I held my chest out confidently, adopting what mom called a, clever reveal, of the delicate blouse. I played the part, allowing my hands to gesture softly, my voice to take on a lighter tone when I greeted teachers and classmates. The performance of, Brie, didn't end with role reversal day, it unexpectedly became the talk of the school. My portrayal was so convincing that a few of my teachers, along with the student council, came up with a proposal that both challenged and intrigued me, what if Brendan became Brie for the rest of the school year? It was presented not as a joke, but as an opportunity to explore identity and expression in a safe and educational way. After a family discussion, where considerations about my comfort and the message it would send were thoroughly debated, I decided to accept the challenge. It was an opportunity to step outside my comfort zone and experience life from a different perspective. As the weeks turned into months, I settled into my role as Brie with unexpected ease. I found pride in the character I presented to the world. I embraced the feminine aspects of my persona, from the careful selection of outfits that matched my sense of style, to the subtle nuances of feminine body language and social interactions. My journey as Brie wasn't just about wearing skirts or walking in heels, it was a deeper exploration of empathy, identity, and the breaking down of gender norms. I learned to listen, to express, and to connect in ways I hadn't known before. I became a confidant, a friend, and an advocate. As Brie, I found unexpected doors swinging open. One such door led to the cheerleading squad. I was hesitant at first, but the coach saw potential in my newfound grace and coordination. Surprisingly, I made the team after tryouts. Cheerleading demanded a level of athleticism and team spirit I hadn't experienced before, and I thrived in it. Then came prom season, and with it, another wave of realization, I was going to attend prom as Brie. The preparation was thrilling, picking out a dress, getting my hair styled, and even experimenting with makeup. The excitement was palpable, and my friends were incredibly supportive, helping me every step of the way. The night of the prom arrived, and I descended the stairs in a flowing dress, feeling a mix of nervousness and excitement. At the venue, amidst the shimmering lights and music, I felt like I was in a dream. That's when Chris, the football captain, approached me. We had shared classes and had always gotten along well, but this was different. He asked me to dance, and I accepted, my heart racing. As we danced, Chris mentioned he had admired my courage to embrace the role of Brie and then, in a moment that felt like it was out of a movie, he asked me out on a date. I was taken aback, flattered, and a little overwhelmed. We talked it over, making sure we were both comfortable with what it meant and the potential gossip it would generate. The date happened, and it was wonderful. 
Chris showed me respect and kindness, and we found that we connected on levels beyond just classmates. As the school year came to a close, my time as Brie taught me lessons of courage, compassion, and the beauty of being who you are, or who you choose to be. It was a chapter of my life that would shape me in more ways than one, a story that would always remind me to stand tall, no matter what shoes I was wearing.